Hey, I hope you didn't forget about this channel. I still have things to say regarding web development. So I started using Tailwind recently against my will. And I've been thinking today, how can I reuse, for example, this class name in other places without copy and pasting it? So in Sizi, we have the settings dialog. And in the settings dialog, we have a bunch of tabs. And in every tab, some of the switches and whatever, they're divided with this uh, settings modal header, let's call it. And I want all of the headers to have similar style. But I'm like, if I create a full React component for this, it doesn't make sense because I don't have any on clicks. I don't have any logic or effects or whatever. I just want to reuse these two class names. So what I did, I'm like, why would I make a component? I can do this the traditional SAS BEM way. And I can just do this settings model, header, apply these two class names. And then instead of here, instead of doing this, I can do settings uh, model underscore underscore header. So I don't get out of complete for this, but whatever. It made me feel like dirty and like people are judging me and I need a shower and I'm like, mm, this is not the Tailwind way. So let me read the docs and Tailwind just says, go and create a React component. Don't use apply. Um, I think even Adam from Tailwind said that apply was a mistake and he regrets adding it because people are misusing it for a bunch of patterns like your boy. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to make a component about this, but it's silly to make a component and just call it, let's just undo this. Um, so this component would be called settings model header like this. It would take a uh, class name and the rest of the things, and then it would return a div basically. And here we're gonna spread the rest of the things. And for class name, we're going to say CN of, um, this would be text LG and uh, FW bold with the rest of the class names like that. Oh no, actually this should be in, in one string, sorry. This should be in one string like that. Sorry, my editor is slow because the code base of CZ is like a billion lines and billion files. So my editor is just, Struggling because web development is the most complex thing and profession in the world and we are the best and the most advanced and the more complexest. Yes, we are the greatest. Um, so settings model here now looks like this and I'm like, okay, this is ridiculous. Even if I make it a one line, like that doesn't like, it makes like this shouldn't be a thing. So now if I want to do settings model body or something else, I got to do the same thing and this will just be a different style. Come on, copilot, like something like this just for one line and then I copy and I have like 50 of these things, it did, and I'm like, no, this doesn't make sense. I gotta make at least a function that creates these components. So I went ahead and I created this thing called create tailwind component. It's very simple. It just takes our original class name. It takes an element by default, a div, and it just returns back react.create element, merges the class names and spreads the rest of the props. This is essentially the previous component that I did, but this is like a creator, like a factory of components, very similar to how styled components works. So now in my settings model slash styles, like, I also don't like this because it reminds me of the style components days and whatever. Like I like in Tailwind where I can be in the file and I don't have to go to another thing just to see like what are these. Now if I use this, let's just go back here. If I use this, I cannot know what are the styles of this. So I got to go into this thing, wherever it is, find the file, click on it, and then be like, okay, these are the components. But at least this way, like this is... Um, a bit simpler and more readable when I need to create more components. We can even rename this to something like this. We can rename this to something like that. So anytime I want to create a tailwind component, we can do this, export const settings, modal body. It can be tailwind component and this can be whatever. And I can say this should be a UL or a section. So I can choose what do I want this to be. So I tweet about this and people are like, you're engineering and uh, just copy and paste and blah, blah, blah. And then someone replies, someone normal who had this same problem and who doesn't think that we need to copy and paste big react components for this tweeted this library at me which literally has the same name from this util it's called twc and the entire point of it is the util that i created basically i just didn't know that this exists because i'm new so it says turn this react component from this long thing which also needs like forwarding refs and types and blah 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 i didn't do all of these things so it would annoy me even more if I had to do all of these things. So turn it from all of that into this, like very styled component-ish. You do twc.div and then you just pass the things. It even has IntelliSense. If you just add something to your um, Visual Studio Code extension uh, or to WebStorm or whatever, you can actually get IntelliSense in this line, which you cannot with my thing because now this doesn't know that we have tailwindy things here and it says no suggestions. So what I can do is I can try to delete my utility. I've already installed this library. So let's just see if this... Uh, will work. So I'm going to see import TWC. Um, I don't know what is that thing coming from. Introduction TWC. Let's just see getting started. Uh, from the React TWC. Who would have said, right? From React TWC. And hopefully this 
um, works and simplifies things. Uh, I think I've, no, actually I installed something different. I installed TWC. So I got to do yarn remove TWC and just install this one. I don't want to take more of your time. That's the point of the library. It's like very simple. I think it makes a lot of sense when it comes to these one liner components that don't have extra React logic. So yeah, let me know what you think, Tailwind experts. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.